What's going on guys, Johnny with Blazegrass Lawn Care and I wanted to document my first time mowing with the Toro Grandstand Revolution 48 inch mower. This is a battery mower and it looks and acts just like a gas powered mower. The only difference is it is extremely quiet and something that I have to kind of sort of get used to. So listen to it real quick. Okay, so let's speed it up now because um you know yeah so so guys let me tell you um it was a little bit uh i felt a little bit funny and the reason i say that um here i had to bring it down because i had a 3.2 uh 325 and i usually cut this at three inches but you know my first time actually going over it with, with a brand new mower i have to kind of see you know where that height adjustment or whatever the case might be so Everything worked out pretty good. I brought it down to three inches, and here I am just uh, going to town with it. Now, um, it felt a little bit strange at the beginning because it doesn't have any vibration. Um, just imagine riding and not feeling any vibration. I had to keep looking down to make sure that I had it on, um, that, you know, the blades were actually... Uh, spinning and, and and running and and one thing that contributed to uh to that was also because i have my uh my uh my, my my hair plugs and i'm listening to music at the same time because that's what i'm used to that's what i'm comfortable doing listening to music and uh and mowing so again without the vibration of an engine it um i have to i had to keep looking down at the discharge um, just to ensure that it was actually cutting so that's that's a little strange and that's something that I have to get used to um, another thing that I have to sort of kind of get used to is that these are uh, low lift blades so they don't push the grass as far as a high lift blade and you know eventually I will get high lift blades um, but yeah, um, it didn't make a difference, but you know, like I said before, certain things that we are used to, we are accustomed to that you kind of sort of have to, you know, just get used to with a new mower. Um, another thing that I had to kind of sort of get used to was, and I may, you know, probably get with Toro and see if there is an adjustment the reverse the reverse is the same speed as the forward engagement so when you're reversing you have to kind of take your time and kind of just touch it lightly so it can reverse slowly you know on the regular conventional gas mowers when you're reversing uh, it automatically is slower than when you're moving forward right you know reverse is like at four miles per hour and moving forward as well you can go eight to ten miles an hour but with this one it is the same moving forward and backwards so that's one thing that i'm gonna have to sort of get used to and again you know um with, with a with a new mower guys there are learning curves 
Um, this was my first property of the day. And I will tell you guys that uh, at the end of the day, today I did 13 properties. And I used two bars out of 10. Um, this shows the power bars in uh, 10 bar increments. And I did 13 properties today and I used two bars. So we'll, we'll see. My, my, my goal is to continue on uh, throughout the week um, just to see how many bars I can take it down to before um, I use most of the power. But again, guys, you, you know the deal, right? <laughs> Once I get to like three, four bars, I'll probably go ahead and, uh, you know, charge it back up, but then, you know, keep the count. Because the last thing I need is to uh, run out of power. But one thing, uh, what I was reading is that once you run up, run out of power, well, you run down to a certain limit, it will show you a little leaf, uh, meaning that, you know, your, your power is, is being depleted to that portion of it. So, you know, finish up your project and, and charge the mower. Um, and if you go beyond the leaf uh, portion, and I forget the word is for it, um, the blade will stop running and, you know, it gives you enough power to go back to your um, to your unit. But if, uh, let's say, for instance, you run out of power, you know, you just kind of disregard and run out of power and everything like that, you can uh, disengage the transmission and push this doggone thing. <laughs> So you know that's why it's it's good to it's good to read and ensure that you know I know everything, even though I for you know I, I'll let you guys know right now, um, I'm not gonna run out of power just because of the type of individual that I am, um, it's not gonna happen. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it was uh, it was interesting today, guys, and I will tell you something. Um, it was. Uh, it's, it's, it is a game changer. It is a game changer because, like I said before, I don't have to worry about any maintenance. Um, there's one maintenance that I have to actually do at um, at 50 hours. I have to change the um, what oil is it? Oh my goodness, I forgot what it is. Ah, transmission. The transmission fluid. Um, yeah, at 50 hours. But then my next transmission fluid change is like at 500 hours so other than that the only maintenance that I have per year is probably just you know put some grease or whatever on the fittings and you know little things like that but there's no oil filters there's no oil changes there's no uh, buying oil there's no buying gas for it um, there's no belt changes you know there's no carburetor to deal with and the noise factor, um, you guys heard the, the, you know, the sound. The sound is, uh, all, all that makes, the only thing that makes the sound is blades, the blade spinning. And, and I'm sure you cannot not have um, the sound of the blades, you know, rotating. So, um, yeah, and it gives you the option, too, to, again, um, minimize your, your speed. And that's what I did. Um, it has a turtle and then it has a rabbit. And um, I was only using like three speed cell um, out of, uh, I think it's 10 of them. Yeah, I think it's 10. And my uh, blade power, um, I had it at max. You know, that's just my thing. And again, like I said before, um, I did 13 properties today and I only use two power cells out of uh, 10. And now these properties were two corner lots and the rest were um, just like this property right here. So they're a little bit, little teeny bit bigger than the average cookie cutter property. But you know, they are you know, small, small properties like this. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I am excited, guys, again, to uh, see how this works for me. And like I said before, you know, this is my first day using it, and 
like anything else, the more you use something, the, the, the better you get at it, right? Repetition is the key to clarity, that's what they say. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be taking it out with me now tomorrow. Um, taking the trailer because uh, I have uh, some small gated backyards that I have to get into, so I need my 36. And it's going to be a combination of my uh, Toro Z Master 4000 and my Grandstand 36. And that will be for tomorrow's video. And yeah, again, guys, um, this is my first time you utilizing this this uh, revolution, and it's good to go. So this is the final look at the property here once I put up my blower and again appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos man please like and subscribe and if you have any questions again my first time so I don't know too much of the technical stuff pretty nice right not bad not bad not complaining guys I'm not complaining Bye, guys. See you in the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.